I'm happy. I had to go to school, rush back, play a little bit, then go to school. It was, it's now one of my favorite games and I'll play it again once I forget all about it. Welcome everybody to TestingToys.com and today I'm going to be talking about Hogwarts Legacy. First question we're going to be starting off with, was it worth the wait? You know, being a massive Harry Potter fan, I really enjoyed this game and I think it was. Like, it was just so fun and it's actually pretty big. Um, and yes, I definitely do think it was worth the wait. So my favourite bits are going to be playing in the background, so just watch those while I'm talking. Um, First, I'm going to be talking about the plot. The plot, basically, there's a bad goblin and then there's a bad wizard and they're both working together. So basically, you have to stop the bad goblin and you face a whole lot of challenges. It turns out that you have this rare magic called ancient magic and then the plot is actually very, like, it's not something that you'd see very often. Like, normally you'd be able to guess, but with this game, you could not guess what was going to happen. Okay, um, was it hard to learn the control? It was actually barely easy um yeah me playing on controller it was really easy for me uh, learning how to use the control and i actually enjoyed the movement it was crazy the spells were surprisingly easy i thought they would watch the spells but it turned out that the spells were actually really good it's actually very surprising okay so while using spells you can also use control combinations to enhance your damage it's really, really cool so you can you can use a whole lot of different combinations and it'll just do all sorts of damage so it took me 18 hours to complete the whole homeless legacy main main challenges and main story so that's actually like really good so I'm happy I had to go to school rush back play a little bit then go to school rush back and then play a little bit more which sucks now moving on to the graphic I think the graphics look pretty good it was a little bit choppy at times when there was a lot going on but well like full of stuff when you're just flying around I think the graphics look really good it's not too fortnite -y. it's not too fortnite -y. and then it's not too call of duty -y. Not to Call of Duty. -y. I love how you can customize your own character, so so you can put your own spin on things. Onto side quests, I'm actually pretty impressed with the side quests. So the side quests are using an array of spells, but also challenging, and most of them you need to explore the castle, which is actually really cool. I really enjoy the side quests. That's probably the only time that I enjoy the side quests other than Batman Arkham Knight. It's another one of my favorite games. Any problems with the game? Um, okay, so, so when I was walking through doors, it takes a little bit of time to load. But like, I'd be stuck on the door and it'd take a little bit of time to load. And sometimes it's choppy, just like when I see the graphics. It's choppy when there's high populated areas. But there are, it is a very big map. And then the castle is also very big, so... I guess it's having trouble, you know, I know. I think, I think it was the perfect game for me. Okay, was it enjoyable and was it worth it? I loved that game 100%. It was, it's now one of my favorite games and I play it again once I forget all about it. Like, it was so fun. Like, definitely worth $100, like, easily. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!